Hiya, I'm Patrick Taylor, and this video is about a Raspberry Pi case, or rather clip, which I designed and printed with my 3D printer. So this all started with my GCSE tech project. I really shouldn't have done GCSE resistant materials, I should have done systems and control, but anyway. This is probably about the only part of the course which I've enjoyed designing and building, and I'm rather proud of it in fact. Uh, as you can see, it's nothing particularly wonderful, it's not like many other Raspberry Pi cases in that it doesn't offer that much protection to the part. It, it just clips it on, it's more of a mount than a case. Uh, the rest of my project is the actual case, the protective part. So, basically, the Pi simply clips on like so. rests on the these two little stands here and is clipped in here. It's had to be printed in two parts because uh, well otherwise the clips uh, wouldn't have enough resolution to to be able to print. Whoa dear. There's a prime example of why you let glue dry before you do something with it. It's a bit wobbly and it really shouldn't be. Um, so I tried printing this in one part and of course the clips on the side here they didn't print well, they, they weren't good enough to, to clip on, so I had to print it in two parts. This part, which is wobbly and really shouldn't be, and this part, which is, is this pretty good. spur up here originated from when I was going to have it both being able to mount the Raspberry Pi on its own and also a Pi bow. I've, uh, I've got rid of the Pi bow functionality, but the spur is actually quite helpful because it helps you sort of lever this clip back slightly in order to take the pie off. I'll hopefully be uploading this to Thingiverse if I if I get round to it. I've never used Thingiverse before so this will be my first first try with it. And yes, so if anyone of you wants to use this I'll see if I can put the link in the description. Um, you probably saw if I showed the time lapse to you, if I didn't then you didn't see it, of me gluing together this. Uh, I think I mentioned it in my last video this is going to be a cooling fan for my printer in order to cool some of the layers of prints and hopefully with small layers make them better. And so I will see you next time, hopefully when I'll detail some of that. Goodbye. 